Inspira Cubot software not only allows you to create individual elements to put on your quilt, it also lets you do designs so that you can create borders. You can also trace clip art to create your own design like we've done here with our little Humpty Dumpty. This was a clip art that we traced and stitched out directly on the Cubot. Very, very fun for a whole cloth quilt wall hanging. So to start with a new work element, what we're going to do is go back to the new and we're going to actually click on start a new work area. What that's going to allow me to do is make an area like I'm going to do a border. So choose how wide your quilt is. So 42 inches is pretty close to how wide the quilt is that I'm going to be working with. The machine reach is actually how how much you can sew on your particular sewing machine. I'm going to go ahead and put in five for my machine reach and then click finish. What this does is you can see this is the area that I will be quilting for the border of my quilt. I'm going to go ahead and go back up to new and start it and do a quick trace of a picture. There are many designs and actually many clip arts that are included with your Cubot. I'm going to choose this flower because I'm going to have the flower border and click next. You can rotate if you choose and in this case I really don't need to find the outline but let's see what it does. You can see how quick and easy you're going to find the area that you're going to be making with stitches. So let's click next. And once we've done that, you can see there is a monochrome threshold. And this is very interesting in that if I take it way down, I'm going to lose the whole part of my design. Or, not quite so far, the little stamens, the little pieces that connected this together. I want to go ahead and leave it right about where it was so I can have all the pieces be there. Click Next and select everything. The size of my design, I actually want the width to be set at 5 and go ahead and click Finish. It's actually tracing the design and here's my element that I'm going to be working with for my work area. Let's see how this is going to stitch out in the design player. It's actually going to start on the left and go around to the right making all the different pieces as it goes. This is a really good thing to do when you're working with a border because you want it to connect from the left to the right throughout the whole border. If you're working on single elements, you might want to have it stop and start in the center. So once I have this done, I'm simply going to select the whole design and copy that onto my clipboard block. Let's go back to the work area and paste it in. So here is my one design pasted in my work area. To create the whole border, what I'm going to do is use the Encore function. This is really wonderful. It's actually going to give you the number of repeats to fill up the border of the chosen size that you made for your quilt. There is a gap if you want to go something in between. I'm actually going to put in a margin. And the margin is going to be on each side of this border. And the reason why is because I'm going to put in a small other element as I get started. So click OK. There's the border, fast and easy. I can now copy Okay. I'm going to get back to With my design on my clipboard block, I'm going to paste and just place the design in the side. Now, the reason why I left that gap is I want this rotated slightly to be a special corner block for this area. So you can see how I've done that right there. I'm going to actually copy the rotated portion, paste it, and move it to the other side. And this time I'm just going to go ahead 
and rotate this around to the other way. So now I have two rotated flowers in the edge of my border. When I go to view, I'm going to choose the film strip because you can barely see here, but this is actually the two side areas. I actually want this particular group to stitch first. No problem for the Cubot software. I'm going to move this up all the way to the top. And now when I start, the design player, you can see you're starting at the very left and moving to the right. While that's playing out, you can see how easy it is to use the borders with your Cubot software. It's very simple, very easy, and simply take it to the Cubot on your SD card. Fast ways to make great quilts with your Cubot and Cubot software.